This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Saturday, January 15th, 2021. Uh, the title of this rant is, Hey Democrats, Americans aren't buying your solutions. STFU and change now. Uh, so uh, I agree with all my sisters and brothers in the Progressive Caucus, in the Progressive Wing of the Democratic Party, that there are dramatic changes that need to be happening in the American public, and the sooner the better. And yes, some of them are really going to going to hurt uh, democracy if they don't come in. I agree. I understand. I want to do it. But right now, the American people aren't necessarily want what you are proposing. And the other thing is, they feel that they're being hounded uh, with your op apocalyptic uh, analysis of what's going to happen to the world. There's going to be the end of democracy <laughs> with, this, with, with no voting rights legislation to be passed. It's going to be the end of the world if we don't pass the new Green New Deal this minute. Uh, and it's the end of American exceptionalism because that's what our Republicans are saying if we let more brown and black people in and give them more rights and give them more money. You know, they, that's where the American people are. I understand. I don't necessarily agree with it. I agree with my progressive friends. But how do you, how do you sell that? How do you make the American people want what you want? And, you know, they want right now, this is the, 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 they want all the stuff that we talked about, but they have other pressing issues. And the pressing issues, they want COVID to end. They want inflation to end. And they want to see higher economic growth. And so instead of, uh, uh, the, you know, the Democrats had a terrible week. Joe went out there and was fighting for vote, voting rights. He got smacked down by two people in his party within hours after he did it. They knew it was going to happen. They knew these people weren't going to change. They knew they weren't going to change six months ago. All right. And, you know, it wasn't going to work as noble as it was, as much as I would like it. It was not going to work. You know, they have to have Joe out there every day digging ditches as we're as we're as that twenty seven billion dollars in infrastructure is being put out there. He's got to be in hospitals as they're bringing in more covid relief. Uh, he has to be out there on the New York Stock Exchange, let's just say, to say, hey, things are just doing well. The economy is doing well overall. We are doing well. Don't take the naysayers of, uh, 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 of Fox News and all that other stuff. And just like the people on the religious right are out there saying, you know, doing all this crazy stuff. They have a fall guy. Right now, that's Joe. Joe needs to make a fall guy. He needs to make the rich the fall guy all over the place. The white rich people all over the place. They're buying the electors. They're changing the laws. They're screwing you out of having a decent life. You know, but I can't do that until we get the economy going, until we get rid of COVID, until we get rid of inflation. And again, I agree with all this progressive legislation, but Joe has to be out there showing that he's fighting for the American people every single day on the things that matter to them most right now. And unfortunately, it is not some of the things that the Democrats want to do, but they have to make that switch to do it. They have to give the American people the relief the American people want now.